Now, some people have called ranked choice voting a gimmick, right? But what they fail to see is, uh, is how a photo op with a Bible is a gimmick, right? Or, or, bringing, <laughs> yeah. or bringing a snowball into Congress to disprove climate change is a gimmick. Or pretending you care about black people by wearing African garb is a gimmick. Uh, yeah. Oh, did you guys not know? The Democrats said Wakanda forever and now racism is solved. Did you guys? <laughs> oh, hallelujah. Yeah, did you guys not get that message? That's what. <laughs> Welcome to a brand new episode of Fork Full of Noodles. I'm your host, Chris Mohan. Uh, thank you so much for tuning into this episode. Uh, just a quick note before we di dive into this episode. This was recorded in front of a live virtual audience via Zoom. And if you want to be part of the virtual live stand-up comedy shows, you totally can. Uh, tickets are available for these shows right now. They are in the description below. They're happening on Friday nights. They're happening Friday nights. Uh, at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific. They're $5 tickets, and each week uh, is new material, so you can get multiple different uh, tickets for multiple different shows. And not only that, but we also help a grassroots organization or a grassroots venue, activist or journalist, uh, because uh, we all got to take care of each other. So uh, each week is a different uh, grassroots organization for this show the show that you're about to watch we donated half of our ticket sales to a movement for a people's party uh, who are actively working to organize to essentially make a a movement for a people's party you create a, a party that is more representative of the people than corporations and uh, they're they're awesome uh, I've had Nick Branna, one of the founders on the show, on my uh, interview podcast, Taboo Table Talk, several different times. He's fantastic. Uh, so uh, if you want to donate to them, if you want to learn more about them, uh, peoplesparty.org. You can find the link in the description below. If you want to attend them, like I said, there's tickets uh, to these live virtual stand-up comedy shows. But if you want a free ticket, you can become a sustaining member. You can become a sustaining member right at krishmohan.com. It's K-R-I-S-H. M-O-H-A-N dot com. You can become a sustaining member directly on my website through Patreon or via Bandcamp. Through this, you get free tickets to these live virtual stand-up comedy shows. You, you get uh, uh, un unreleased exclusive stand-up comedy and storytelling material. You get uh, bonus merch. Uh, and you get early access to larger full episodes of Fork Full of Noodles like this one that you're watching right now. Uh, so go to krishmohan.com, check out those future dates, and I hope to see you at a show. And now, without any further ado, let's... But with the privatization of, of our election system, uh, it's become way more evident that we need a whole brand new system to be put into place. And one of the options that's being discussed right now is rank choice voting, or what's called an instant runoff voting. This system looks for a true majority in the election system, which uh, if you don't know what a true majority is, that's, that's somebody with at least 51% of the votes, right? Now, ranked choice voting can sound complicated, and it is if you're only using about two neurons at a time, which is also called the duopoly of neurons. <laughs> <laughs> because it's equally stupid. <laughs> so. But really, it's not as hard as people think, right? Especially if you have multiple candidates running, you select which candidate is your number one choice, your number two choice, and so on. Uh, and if there's a candidate that you'd never, ever vote for, then, then you just don't pick them, period. It's kind of awesome. You get the choice to do that. Right, so ranked choice voting then goes through rounds of voting. Uh, all of the number one choices are counted then the candidate with the least amount is eliminated, and then all of their votes are redistributed amongst the rest of the candidates. And this is where the ranking system comes into play, right? The redistribution is based on who was their number two choice, and then we repeat this 
until we reach a true majority. In most cases with ranked choice voting, it, it never goes past the second or third round. It's very rare that it goes into a fourth or fifth round, right? But a lot of corporate candidates don't like this system because it's not about the donor class. It also means that they'd have to reach out to voters who are not in their base. So it would mean Democrats talking to conservatives in the middle of the country and not calling them a basket of deplorables or conservative cuck magnets. <laughs> you can't do that anymore. <laughs> it would also mean that Republicans have to talk to liberals without calling them libtards and snowflakes. And, and this one's going to be a tough one for, for me. It's going to mean that progressives and independent candidates are going to have to talk to neoliberals without calling them corporate chills. That's going to be hard. <laughs> That's going to be really hard. <laughs> now, I know this sounds like this is going to be like a much longer election process than we already have. But in reality, it would mean that we can have the same length for the electoral process, but make it a lot more worthwhile, right? The debates would be about discussing ideas and why they're valuable to the people of varying belief systems. And instead of each candidate trying to dunk on each other to see who can get the sound bite of the week, which is basically what our debates are now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The claim is that this is a less democratic process, right? Because it doesn't choose an instant winner, but that's also kind of false because ranked choice voting is far more democratic because it means that people's voices actually matter in the election system, right? It doesn't force you to make a choice between the lesser of two evils, which I will remind you is still voting for evil. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we should right. yeah, really fucking stop doing that, right? Voting for lesser of <laughs> <laughs> we should. Yeah, voting for lesser of two evils is like the real version of when your friend asks, hey, gun to your head, and then says the stupidest fucking thing you've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> right? It's always gun to your head, dumb comment, right? It's like, I don't want to choose between getting kicked in the balls and directly inside my asshole. <laughs> See, this is why we don't invite you to things, Randy, okay? <laughs> making it weird. <laughs> Look, making the lesser of two evils argument is like having two people with guns to your head and asking you to choose which bullet are you willing to take, right? And, and look, I get, I get that that's an extreme example, but voting for evil is a pretty extreme decision to make. <laughs> <laughs> so I feel pretty justified by that. <laughs> right? But ranked choice voting eliminates that argument. Ranked choice voting makes us more involved in our politics. You have to know what each candidate stands for and why they are the particular number choice. We become a more informed populace this way. It encourages conversations with people of differing ideologies because our leaders are doing it too. It no longer means that we have a passive relationship with politics and voting, right? This is the full hearted hand job that we talked about earlier. <laughs> you know, that's what this is. Eye contact. Lots of eye contact, <laughs> Frank is voting. There's so much eye contact, you guys. <laughs> It's, you, you're really staring deep into people's eyes during ranked choice voting. It's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. Uh, George McGovern. Oh, there we go. Uh, so the other thing, too, with ranked choice voting is that it's a lot harder to manipulate election results. Uh, a, like, for example, in 2002, during the Irish general elections, they counted over 16,000 pattern variations for 44,000 voters. Now, obviously, the drawback is that uh, you know, this is going to take longer to count the votes. Uh, and that's OK, because this is voting and not a drive through where you get something that barely passes for food. Well, I feel like it should take a little bit longer. And that's fine. <laughs> 
so and this is the thing it's like ireland's not the only country uh with ranked choice voting we have australia new zealand sri lanka papua new guinea fiji estonia a lot of eu countries have chosen to use this as their form of democracy in america cities like minneapolis are using it right maine the state of maine has been using it for their elections and even states like North Carolina have used it for judicial elections. Now they get rid of it when they realize that people are gaining a little bit more power and money becomes meaningless in an election. So they have to get rid of it. Now some people have called ranked choice voting a gimmick, right? But what they fail to see is, uh, is how a photo op with a Bible is a gimmick, right? Or, or, bringing, <laughs> yeah. or bringing a snowball into Congress to disprove climate change is a gimmick. Or pretending you care about black people by wearing African garb is a gimmick. Uh, yeah. Oh, did you guys not know? The Democrats said Wakanda forever and now racism is solved. Did you guys <laughs> oh, Hallelujah. Yeah, did you guys not get that message? That's what... <laughs> That's what that was all about. <laughs> you know? Look, ranked choice voting isn't a gimmick. Our current voting system that leads to performative politics is. That's the fucking gimmick. Ranked choice voting lets you vote with your beliefs intact. It also shows the diversity of beliefs and how many pattern variations you have within these rankings. Right? This encourages us to be a more understanding, intelligent, and compassionate about our ideas. We vote for ideas rather than mascots who just keep touting whether they're winners or losers. And that is your Forkful of Noodles for this week. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed this episode, please give it a share. Please give it a thumbs up and share it around. And make sure that you're subscribed to this channel. Uh, this channel often gets suppressed because we don't particularly talk about things that, uh, that the algorithm deems is cool. <laughs> so... Uh, we depend on, uh, uh, or I depend on you guys uh, sharing it out to as many people as you possibly can. Um, there's going to be a bunch of cool stuff coming up on this channel. Uh, videos like this, more scripted history-based socio-political commentary. Uh, there's rantier videos about uh, current events, news. There, there's more uh, bite-sized videos about uh, specific topics. And there's going to be interviews coming up on this channel as well that I'm excited to share with you guys. So uh, there's gonna be a bunch of cool stuff coming up on this channel. Uh, virtually every single day of the week, you can probably find some videos coming up on this channel. So make sure you're subscribed to that. Uh, and like I mentioned at the very top of the show, this was recorded in front of a, a live virtual audience. So if you would like to be part of a live virtual audience, you can totally do so by purchasing tickets and, uh, and coming out to, to hang out with us and, and take part in the Citizen Revolution live virtual stand-up comedy shows. Uh, they happen on Fridays um, and uh, at 9 p.m. They're only five bucks and we donate half the proceeds to, uh, to a grassroots organization venue, journalists, et cetera, et cetera. So, uh, and this video that you're watching right now, we donated half the ticket sales to a movement for a people's party. Uh, so if you would like to learn even more about them, if you would like to donate to them, you can do so at peoplesparty.org. The link is in the description below. Uh, and uh, I hope to see you guys at one of these events. I hope you guys will go grab your tickets. Go to krishmohan.com for those tickets. It's K-R-I-S-H. M-O-H-A-N, become a sustaining make member, make a one-time donation, buy an album, go nuts with watching a bunch of these videos, go crazy about it. Uh, but Kirschmohan.com is your one-stop shop for all things Kirschmohan. Uh, I hope to see you guys again soon. Thanks for tuning in. And we'll